So the world of a student is very jam-packed with lots of responsibilities. It makes me feel overwhelmed, like I don't know how to fit things in. I've got a social life and a family life and a school life and 24 hours in the day and it just doesn't all fit together. It makes me feel stress and it makes me feel like I'm being pulled apart from every direction. There's more to us than just school. And school, yes, it's a big part of our lives, but there's also other things we might be dealing with, like at home. Our body's changing, our thoughts are changing, our environment's changing, and we're so confused ourselves. And to have a teacher that we could talk to that could empathize with our problems, that would be amazing for every single student. I do like eight extracurriculars, <laughs> which is a lot, but a lot of them help me for my future endeavors and my future career, what I want to go into. Some teachers say, well, aren't you deciding to do these extracurriculars yourself? Yes, I am, but they're important to me and sometimes they help me unwind in certain situations when I'm really stressed about schoolwork. I think as young people, we just have so much on us all the time. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of pressures put onto us by parents, by teachers, by our schools. And then there's expectations we have to live up to about, oh, we have to go to all these extracurriculars while still excelling in class, while also making time for having a social life, while also making sure you have a part-time job and mm -hmm. things like that. Social media is a huge part of every teenager's life, whether they will admit it or not. And it's because it's something that everybody does usually. We have phones nowadays, which is such a big like worry of, is someone gonna take a photo of me and like, you know, make a bad post about me and talk talk about me behind my back to this other person? Am I gonna get cyber bullied because of it? Technology just adds to the stresses of like the social because you can be reached at any time. You can't just take alone time. Mm. And then there's all the information that it can give you, but it can also be completely wrong. We don't necessarily get given strategies on how to like deal with that overwhelming like stress and anxiety in, in the classroom or like even outside of the classroom. What is time management? What is it about and how do we do it? How do we manage all of these things without letting go of some of the things we really care about? Having a teacher acknowledge that they see I know you're struggling mm -hmm. and that's okay and like having a teacher acknowledge it's okay to not be okay all of the time has helped me in my experience immensely. It's really good to have that connection with a staff member who goes hey, I understand this is an issue that you're having and I understand that if there's anything I can do to help you, I'm gonna do it. 